Hey boys and girls, just a quick video to showcase my new testing with 48kHz JSEC ESC firmware on a 65mm 1S racing whoop. Most of the credit obviously has to go to Mark Spatz as I got most of this information directly from him. The guy is an absolute genius and I will be putting a link to his YouTube channel down in the description. If you have not checked out UAV Tech at this point, I really suggest that you do. Just wanted to point out with this particular initial testing flight and phase here that I am purposefully trying to make this thing break free. I am pushing it all over the place, I am jerking it all over the place, and I am trying to hit stuff and just basically really confuse this tiny wood board. Um, what I basically found out is that with Mark Spatz's new iTerm settings, I can bounce into things, I can pretty much do whatever the heck I want, and I cannot cause this thing to break free. Now, as an added bonus, and this was completely unexpected, I have received as much as an 80% increase in flight time. Originally, I was going around two, two and a half minutes, coming down around three, six, once my batteries came back up. At this point, I am doing, you know, easily uh, three and a half, four plus minute flights, batteries coming up around three, seven, three, eight. Um, guys, uh, you know, JSEC ESC with 48 kilohertz is real, and it is magical. Enjoy. They call me the tiny whoop, I am the tiniest of all the little whoops in the whole wide world Yeah, I'm the one that wants to be flown by everyone Cause I'm the beginning of the revolution The FPV, micro society It doesn't matter when, just the fact that we can all fly and be free So let's go fly and be free Alright boys and girls, now time for the proof that I promised you. Before we do that, just let me point out real quick that that last flight you just saw was 3 minutes and 48 seconds and I could have gone further. These first two clips here, I'm going to show you 10 seconds of one clip, 10 seconds of another clip. 
just shows you my previous setup. It's the same quad, the same packs, just without the JESC 48 kilohertz firmware. And as you can clearly see, I am struggling to get past two minutes, two minutes and 10 seconds, and my batteries are way down and hitting that uh, 3.1, three volt marker. Now, these next two clips I'm gonna show you right here are two of the JESC 48 kilohertz firmware clips. And as you can see, I am at four minutes and two seconds and now hitting the low battery warning. Um, this uh, last clip here is going to be exactly the same. So uh, guys, again, um, JESC 48 kilohertz is for real and it is the shiznit. If you guys have not subscribed to Mark Spatz channel, UAV Tech, I suggest you do so. And if you feel like it, go ahead and subscribe to mine. Boop on, yo.